Souls of the Haunted Manor. The antique clock on the mantelpiece chimed midnight, each toll echoing through the cavernous Victorian house like a hammer blow to my heart. The power had gone out hours ago, leaving me enveloped in an oppressive darkness, punctuated only by the flickering candlelight that cast dancing shadows across the dusty furniture. My grandfather's house, left to me after his sudden passing, was a place of secrets. It whispered them to me, each creak of the floorboards, each groan of the rafters, a muffled voice in the night. I was here to unravel those secrets, to find answers in the faded photographs and dusty journals that filled the attic. I'd spent the last few days exploring the house, uncovering forgotten memories, each one more unsettling than the last. The attic was the most unnerving room, filled with a palpable sense of unease. The air there was thick and cold, heavy with the scent of decay and something else, something that lingered like a phantom. As I made my way towards the attic, the shadows seemed to stretch and lengthen, taking on sinister forms. My footsteps echoed in the silence, each one a drumbeat of fear. The air grew colder, a chilling draft snaking around my legs. The attic door creaked open, revealing a world of dust-covered furniture and forgotten treasures. A single flickering bulb cast an eerie yellow glow, illuminating the worn rug and the towering shelves that lined the walls. A shiver ran down my spine as I noticed a small wooden box nestled among the piles of forgotten trinkets. It was intricately carved, and a single, tarnished silver key lay beside it. Curiosity gnawed at me, urging me forward. I picked up the key, its cool metal sending a jolt through my hand. As I inserted it into the lock, a sense of dread washed over me. It was as if the box itself was alive, resisting my touch. With a grating sound, the lid swung open. Inside, nestled on a bed of velvet, lay a small, faded photograph. I reached for it, my fingers trembling. The image was blurry, but I could make out two figures, a man and a woman, their faces obscured by shadows. As I gazed at the photograph, the air around me grew thick and heavy. The candlelight flickered, casting sinister shadows that danced across the walls. I felt a presence, a cold, unseen entity that enveloped me in its icy grip. The shadows began to writhe, twisting and contorting into grotesque shapes. The air filled with a low, guttural whisper, a voice that seemed to come from the depths of my own soul. You shouldn't be here. It hissed, its voice rasping and cold. You are not meant to know. Terror gripped me. I tried to scream, but no sound escaped my lips. I felt a searing pain in my chest, as if something was tearing at my very being. Suddenly the room was plunged into darkness. The shadows vanished. The whisper ceased. I was left alone, gasping for breath. The photograph clutched tightly in my hand. I had stumbled upon a secret a terrible truth that was better left buried. But now it was too late. The darkness had touched me, and it would never let me go. The antique clock on the mantelpiece chimed once, then twice, the sound echoing in the silence, a chilling reminder that I was no longer alone. The house had claimed another soul, and its secrets would forever remain shrouded in darkness. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.